I had a hard time, to be totally honest, shutting my director mind off because one of the keys to being a great director in porn is having kinks or having kind of like a perv twist on each of these different films. So, you know, I'd be sitting there eating at like chilies and sexualizing the waitress or, you know, sexualizing the, the entire event. And so I just felt as though my mind needed to not do that right now. Yeah. Like I needed, I don't know. No, I know what you mean. So when I was directing a lot, mm-hmm. um, I almost couldn't enjoy movies because right. all I did was think about how, how to the turn shot, it into- like each shot, like the angle that they did, what that camera too. was that? Were they on a dolly? Is that a steady cam shot? Yeah. How is it lit? Like Yeah, and then the I'm like editing. looking at their eyes. Oh, they have too many lights in their eyes. <laughs> or oh, they don't have enough light on their exactly. Yeah, so. it takes you out of the out of the film because you're just thinking about the technical aspects of it. Yeah. yeah. So I wasn't really loving that part of it. Mm-hmm. I I realized that I really am a performer. Yeah. And I love being able to show up do my work, leave with a check. Yeah, and it's a lot. I wouldn't say it's less work, but it's a different kind of work, like it is. being a performer. You can turn it on and you can turn it off. Yeah. Or as a director, uh, not only are you dealing with, well, it'd be different maybe if I was directing other people's writings, but me, I, you know, I was also always writing. So I'd be up till two o'clock in the morning writing and writing and writing and then having to edit it and blah, blah, blah. But then you also are dealing with the agents. You're yeah. dealing with the girls themselves, you know, having I, to... I think what a lot of people don't recognize um, if you don't work in the adult industry is that as a director in the adult industry, you're not just a director. You're also the producer. Mm-hmm. Like, because in mainstream, I remember when I first um, worked on a big mainstream shoot. Well, actually, mainstream, I guess it wasn't really mainstream, but it was for Playboy TV, right? So it was okay. a big production. Yeah. Um, and they had all these different producers. There was like a line producer, and then there's like the, you know, the story producer. Okay. And, like, and I was like, wait, there's like different producer levels that are handled by different people. Because yeah, I didn't have that luxury. I'm <laughs> the producer, only one. I do yeah. all of the things. Yeah. Um, and the director and Sometimes the stylist, also exactly. sometimes the PA. The like, set, I mean, I it was just the me art director. And the, it was me and another camera person on set. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah, there, we didn't. That's we didn't lot. even have a PA. We didn't yeah. have you know a talent liaison. We didn't have any a wardrobe stylist. You know, so you're sitting there. You do everything. Having, uh, everything. Everything. You're. Day never stops or ends. Yeah. It's just, it all bleeds into one. And <laughs> for me, I guess it also doesn't help that I don't live in the cities that I'm directing and producing in. Yeah, so then hard. I'm away from family. I'm away from home. I don't get that reset. It, it was just a lot. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.